Hi, my name is Daryl Peterson and I'm the manager of the Applications Engineering Department here at MicroManagements. This afternoon I'd like to take a few minutes and help answer a question for you which is where are all the strain gauges? We're going to walk through a PowerPoint presentation here in a few minutes and we'll hopefully reveal some of the areas where you may find strain gauges in your everyday life. Strain gauges are literally everywhere. They interact with your daily life both directly and indirectly, whether you're aware of them or not. Today, we'll review a typical day that many of us experience. What about when you wake up? Well, when you wake up, you probably reach for your phone to enable notifications. Some phones have strain gauge based beams inside tech squeezing. The internal components, printed circuit board assemblies, would have been tested for reliability during the production process using strain gauges. If you've ever dropped your phone and found that it still works perfectly, you should thank the engineers who used the drop test method with strain gauges and other sensors to ensure the survivability of your phone. You may decide to check your weight in the morning, like a lot of times I do that. Always better in the mornings before you've had a chance to eat breakfast. Those electric scales may have more than just one strain gauge inside them to measure your weight. You may have cereal or bread or breakfast in the morning. This represents several strain gauge applications. Tractor plowing forces to optimize the depth. Seeds can be placed with fourth force measurement for optimal planting depth. Combine harvesters use load cells to predict and therefore avoid jamming of the threshing drum. Downtime of these types of machines can be very expensive. Grain is sometimes weighed dynamically directly on the harvester using a deflection plate mounted on a load cell, which can provide an entire yield map of the field for targeted fertilizing. Grain is also weighed in a grain bid or trailer. Grain can be stored in silos mounted on strain gauge based load cells so they can monitor the amount of grain that's inside. Cereal and almost every other recipe based product is made in a factory where each ingredient is weighed. Cereal is packaged by weight, not by volume. What about breakfast? During breakfast, you may decide to weigh the recommended amount of cereal using an electronic kitchen scale. When you pour your milk on your cereal, remember that it's weighed during the milking process using a strain gauge based sensor. You may buy it in volume, pints or liters, but it's processed in weight. What about your car? If you drive to work, your vehicle has been tested using strain gauges for stress analysis purposes on almost every component, including material property testing, uh, the body shell, glass, wheels, the suspension, the engine, the gearbox, and even the electronic control modules that are inside of your vehicle, which are basically the brains of the vehicle. Impact tests have been performed to make sure that that vehicle is safe. Uh, and not only we test for reliability, but we also try to make sure that save your life in case of an accident. Life on the road. Motorcycles may have a system using trickle-down technology from race teams. Quick shifters use a strain gauge sensor on the gear linkage, cutting the ignition momentarily for smooth clutchless changes, saving fractions of a second. This could be a big difference between winning and losing when you're racing. If you cycle to work, then you may have a cadence measuring system most commonly using strain gauges in the cranks, the pedals, and the chain ring spider. Trains are evaluated with strain gauges during development and the rails have strain gauge sensors looking for wheel flat detection, overall weight, and rail tension, especially important in very hot weather where the speed may have been reduced to avoid derailing. Every time you cross a bridge, you should be aware that they've been tested using strain gauges Many larger bridges have a health monitoring system involving thousands of strain gauge sensors for real structural health monitoring and life prediction. 
When you purchase items from a supermarket, the self-checkout system uses a load cell to weigh each item based on the expected weight from the scanning database. If you pay in cash, the register may have load cells weighing each coin and note to ensure accuracy and avoid counterfeit currency. If you use a light controlled uh, pedestrian crossing, the call button may be a strain gauge on a plate rather than a physical button. Using a lift to get to your floor, a strain gauge load cell ensures that the lift is not overloaded and if it is, someone may have to wait for the next one. Your PC, tablet, or smartwatch may have a force sensitive trackpad. The pad or screen is mounted on a strain gauge based frame which can sense both the level of force and the location. What about exercising? During your fitness program at the gym, many of the fitness machines have strain gauge measuring force for accurate calculations of effort. A visit to the dentist may bring you in contact with technology that's been optimized using strain gauges. Feelings have been optimized to maintain the strength of the teeth. Bridges, bone screws, plates have all been evaluated using strain gauges. If you're unlucky enough to break a bone in an accident, the plates used for repairs have been optimized for flexibility to assist bone healing. External, frac fixator, external fixators measure force to optimize bone lengthening or healing. Prosthetics for knees and hips, as well as the tools used to install them, have been optimized with stress analysis using strain gauges. And some strain gauge systems are starting to become integrated in the prosthetics for in vivo measurement of the healing process. Some hospital beds and chairs have integrated weighing systems, especially important if you have a vulnerable patient who gets up while no one is looking. If you need a prosthetic leg, Strain gauge feedback is used so that the integrated electronics can sense the usage mode and adjust the parameters accordingly for smooth transitions from walking to climbing stairs. If you go on a cruise, strain gauge measurements are made on the drive shafts of the propellers. This can be used to evaluate hull fouling and even detect individual engine cylinder misfires for fuel efficiency and predictive maintenance. This can save thousands of tons of fuel and hence reduce CO2 and other polluting byproducts. Some ferries have strain gauge passenger movement sensors to detect unauthorized access to areas of the ship, such as the car deck, which obviously can be very dangerous, especially in heavy seas. The above summary is by, new, by no means exhaustive. There are many more applications and their use is increasing, especially with the advent of IoT, Industry 4.0, and artificial intelligence. Next time someone asks you what a strain gauge is, you can tell them that you've already interacted with them several times today already. If you'd like to find out more about strain gauges, take a look at our website at www.micro-measurements.com. Micromeasurement's comprehensive portfolio of sensors, strain gauges, photo stress equipment, and coatings, data acquisition systems, and accessories ensures dependable and accurate stress data. Even so, we understand that unique applications call for custom products. That's why Micromeasurement's team of in-house experts are here to assess your application or installation needs and walk you through the customization process. We're committed to providing in-depth consultation from start to finish. With offices and teams of experts around the world, Micromeasurements is just a click or email away. And that website is www.micro-measurements.com. Thank you.